I know you're probably sitting here and you clicked on this video for a reason. And I asked the question in the title, if you read the title, how to know what God wants you to do. A lot of the times we may be in certain scenarios, in certain situations, and we have decisions to make, right? The Lord gives us free will. We get in different, you know, extracurriculars. We get to different situations to where we have to figure out, you know, should I go to this place? Should I eat this food? Should I be with this person? Should I go along with this person? Should this person be around me? This video is about spiritual discernment. How to know, you know, what God wants you to do. And I like Proverbs. And I have two verses in Proverbs. And these verses really stuck out to me when talking about discernment. Proverbs chapter 1, verse 7 says, The fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge a lot of people talking about you know fearing God right why should we fear God right because fearing God is a sign of respect for God right you're not supposed to fear man right the fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge right knowledge right but that type of knowledge isn't book smart knowledge isn't street smart knowledge it's godly wisdom Proverbs. if you've read the book of Proverbs Proverbs talks a lot about wisdom Wisdom, wisdom, wisdom. And a lot of people lack it. Godly wisdom, specifically. The other verse I have for you is Proverbs chapter 3, verse 5 through 6. And this one, you're going to really want to listen to this one because this one is deep. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. All your heart. And do not lean on your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge him. And he will make straight your paths. I'm going to read it again. Proverbs chapter 3, verse 5 through 6. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and do not lean on your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge him and he will make straight your paths. When it says trust in the Lord with all your heart, trust in the Lord with all your might, all your knowledge. Keep your faith in him with all that you have and do not lean on your own understanding. Do not lean on your worldly knowledge. Do not lean on your own thoughts and emotions and do not lean on your own physical being to dictate, you know, how you handle a situation, what decision you make. Don't allow, you know, maybe even like your parents, you can go to them for your for opinions. Like people you trust, yeah, sure, you can go to them for opinions, but don't allow them to dictate what your ultimate decision will be, right? I was talking to one of my boys the other day and him and his family are mainly Catholic, right? And so, but him, he, he doesn't want to be Catholic. He, was, he just wants to be a non-denominational Christian, right? There's a difference. Y'all need to look that up. But his parents, you know, he grew up in the Catholic faith, you know, his entire time. And the whole time he wanted to believe this one thing, he couldn't really lean on his parents because obviously they're Catholic. Couldn't lean on his, you know, his grandparents because they were Catholic. Couldn't lean on his aunts, uncles because they were Catholic. So he had to lean on God for understanding and wisdom and, and clarity because whenever, you know, he wanted to, you know, change his belief, how would you look? How would you feel if something you believe is so different from everybody else, right? And you're trying to tell everybody else about it, and now you look like the crazy one because you're thinking different than everybody else, right? But because you're leaning on God's understanding and you're standing in your faith, then, you know, that bond and strength you have with God is so, it's so, it's so tough. It's so tough. And it says, in all your, all your ways, acknowledge him and he will make your straight your paths. And when it says, do not lean on your own, your own understanding, lean, lean on the father, the son, and the Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit. You have to allow the Holy Spirit to work within you. To, to 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 be able to gain godly wisdom allow the spirit to work in your mind in your spirit in your soul allow it to work back to the question of how to know what god wants you to do not only godly wisdom and leaning on god but you have to read his word i don't know how many times i stress you know in all my videos that you have to read his word to know what he's trying to tell you because 
you could be reading any type of verse and you could be going through a certain situation. And regardless of what the situation is, if you don't know what God is trying to tell you, right, then what's the point? If you're not allowing God, the Holy Spirit to work within you, what is the point? You're leaning on, you're leaning more so, you're, you're letting Satan really dictate what you're going to do. You're letting the world dictate what you're going to do. The Bible talks about not conforming to the world. That doesn't only mean how you act, but that means by the decisions you make and how you live, right? Now, that doesn't mean you're not going to, you're going to live this perfect life. You never said that. So don't quote me on it. <laughs> but what I'm trying to tell you is, look, bro. How to know what God wants you to do is really simple. The, the, the word talks all about it. You got to read the word. You have to live the word, right? You have to seek godly wisdom and not lean and not lean on your own understanding. Lean on God for what to do next in your life. But if you enjoyed this video, make sure you share this video with somebody that needs it. Share this video on social media. You know, share with a friend, share with a family member, whoever needs it. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe if you're new to the channel. Um, hit that notification bell as well. And um, yeah, man, I appreciate you for watching. God bless.